Welcome in Karavuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I bring you these beautiful rolled dates with mixed nuts. So over here I have ground cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg, sesame seeds, ghee. I have chopped pistachios, chopped cashew nuts, chopped almonds, as well as walnuts. And they're all about quarter cup each. And then my base is chopped dates. That's about two cups. And I'm going to start by toasting my cinnamon se uh, sesame seeds and uh, my heat is on low medium and you want to toast this for about two minutes. Okay, once they start to change the color, you add all the nuts and we're going to toast the nuts as well. Okay, make sure that the heat is on low medium. And you just want to do this for about two to three minutes. Okay, once they're done, put them on, keep them aside and let them cool. Now I'm using the same pan and I'm heating up my ghee. That's about two tablespoons. And then a teaspoon of cardamom powder and a teaspoon of um, cinnamon powder and half a teaspoon of uh, nutmeg and just saute for about a minute and then add the dates okay just saute the dates for about three minutes and uh, as you saute i like to mash them a bit you know so that they become softer okay just about three to four minutes not longer than that and then after that add the nuts the mixed nuts then you just want to mix and combine well Okay, I, uh, I love these nuts, especially during this time, but uh, you can use them at any time. I mean, these dates. <laughs> and of course, after Ramadan, we really don't use the dates. So I like to make uh, something like this. And the kids just like to, you know, they're very chewy. They're very nice. So after this, uh, uh, turn the heat off and uh, let them cool. Okay. So after they have cooled, I use the ghee to rub my palms because, you know, they're very sticky. And all I'm trying to do is here just make a log, but you can make them into nice balls, you know, like truffles. You can do that as well. Or you can make one log. I'm making two logs today. And you just want to shape it like that. Okay. And then cover it well with, with aluminum foil, or you can use a parchment paper or wax paper. Okay, cover it tightly and roll it. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same way for the second for the second log. I divided my mixture into two. You can do three, depend it depends how many you want. You can make it uh, long, you can make it short, you can make it thin, you can make it thick, however you like it. Okay, and these are you know these are just little snacks, you can have them after a meal. You know, they are very nutritious because they've got, you know, you can see all the nuts and you can change the nuts and put whatever you like. You don't have to use the kind, same kind of nuts that I'm using. Okay, and then you just want to roll this again, just like the first one. And we're going to keep this in the fridge for about two hours. Now, if you decide not to keep it in the fridge, then you can keep it outside for about four to five hours. All right. So after two hours... They're very nice and all set and they're pretty hard also. So I'm just going to roll them into crushed pistachios. And this is optional, but it gives a very beautiful color. That's for my first log and for my second log, I am going to roll it in coconut. 
designated coconut. Okay, and so that's it. And now we're just going to cut them into nice, small, thin slices. You can make them big slices. You can make small slices. And these go very well, you know, with a Turkish coffee. Or you can just have them, you know, like that. And then I'm going to do the same with my, see how beautiful they look with all those colors, with a coconut one as well. I wanted to do this video earlier, but uh, unfortunately I did not have time. I hope you'll have time to do this for Eid or maybe some other time. And that's it. You're just going to plate them. And uh, if you're not plating them immediately, you can just store them in a nice uh, tight container or Ziploc bag. And they last for a while. So that's about it. So thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma Zanzibar. And you'll also find the list of ingredients in the descri description box below. And Eid Mubarak to everybody.